Modern Nomads is a weekly program about Kazakh compatriots who try to save Kazakh traditions for the current and next generations and for those who are interested in the culture and history of ancient Kazakh nomads. Watch us every week on Kazakh TV. What we consider heritage is a memory from the past. The Kazakh people have left many heritages from generations past. This is their traditions. A heritage is made from the memories of our ancestors. The new generation should always know their ancestors. The typical heritage which is left is jewelry, or swords and even guns. Especially priceless jewelry is a very important heritage. This bracelet is a heritage of our family. It is more than a hundred years old. It belongs to my mother. She was born in 1946. When my mother was born, her godmother presented it to her. As my mom told me, when a girl is going to marry, she should wear on her wrist such a bracelet. It was made from silver. The woman wears it in her daily life, when they wash their clothing or during cooking. The bracelet has its own secrets. It comes from useful minerals, which the bracelet can be used during cooking. Women also have bracelets for fashion, and also it protects from the evil eye. This silver bracelet is very important for a girl who makes handicrafts as a smith. Especially she has a warm attitude to our traditions and customs. She continues the traditions which came to her from her ancestors. Today, she explains to us the korjin, which is a square bag embroidered with ornaments. In ancient times, my grandmother told me. I was small at that time. She told me a fairy tale. I think probably her grandmother even told her about it. The korjun is not only a bag for putting presents in or for marriage ceremonies. As my grandmother told me, for two generations coming from agreements, the groom's side parents give the present that they made in a korjun, which is a magnificent embroidered ornament, which is made from the craftsmen of the groom's side generation. The Korjan bag also shows the status of the groom, what is their tribe, and they draw the ornaments with traditions that they have kept. For example, I will tell you about this Korjan here as described by the ornaments which came from the two tribes. In the middle of the ornament, there is a poplar tree. Typically, in the matchmaking tradition, we keep it till nowadays, the Korjan bag which is presented. The Kazakh people have the bride's wedding and the second wedding where the groom is married to the bride. In ancient traditions, the matchmakers respect one another. There is a proverb that says, the husband is for a hundred years and a matchmaker is for a thousand. The Kazakh people presented everything to their matchmakers as the respect for one another. Especially, the korzin bag, which is presented to the bride, should be full of presents. 
Этот рот, что хочет сказать своим кудаларга? Вот они, что ждут от невесты и родителей невесты, от кудаларга? И они ложат на эту сторону другие символы. And the second side of the Kurjan bag was embroidered to the tribes presented with ornaments. What was the expectation for the future daughter-in-law? For this case, it was embroidered to another ornament, for them, which has another meaning. Then the Kurjan was full of presents, which was given to the matchmakers. If you take notice, people were not very talkative in time. They expressed their thoughts through their traditions. When the Korjin was received, the second side did not open straightly. They showed the Korjin to their own craftsmen. What were the embroidery patterns? And then they know the matchmaker's tribes through the ornaments, which have deeper meaning. For the first side, the Kurjan can be noticed with the status of the tribes, and the second side shows what to do with the matchmakers. Through the ornaments, we can typically describe how the bride should behave after marriage and how many children she can bear. Also, the secrets were kept in the Kurjan bag. If the bride's parents agreed to all the agreements, they would receive it as a present. If they disagreed, they wouldn't open the Kurjan and they should return it. It means they will not matchmake with one another. Here we should understand the Kurjan has a deep history since ancient times. Currently we talk about the Kurjan for matchmaking as a present. We do not pay attention to the ornaments. We understand it and we put it on a horse. It is right, of course but the real meaning of the Kurjan has deeper thoughts. This girl involved in handicrafts sews not only the Kurjan, she can also make coats with ornaments and coated with embroidery. Lazat connects everything in her work with the history and the deep meaning of the Kazakh people. It seemed as if her ornaments have their own language which can speak and dance. Kazakh craftsmen draw ornaments with deep thoughts and each one has their own meaning. Вот на сегодняшний день, да, я работаю над современными чепанами, да, то есть современные это что? Это не тойский вариант. То есть на свадьбы Currently, I am sewing the chapan or coat for males for this time. What is the meaning of the epakal? It is a chapan for weddings. For the wedding, it should be embroidered with golden thread and from velvet fabric ornaments, and it should be different. And I sew the chapan nowadays and ethnically exemplary. I use leather as well. I chose a symbol for the chapan with meaning. There are differences between the male and female chapan. Ornaments should also be different as well. Nowadays we have a meaning of yin and yang. In ancient times people paid high attention to the chapan. The male's power is different from a female's power. What ornaments should be drawn on the male's chapan? First of all, males are warriors, and they should have on their chest two eagles. This ornament has its own definition which protects the males. And on the back of the chapan, there should be embroidered wings, which mean the warrior should be encouraged. I think handicraft talents come from the grandmother. My mother weaved a carpet and made patchwork. There is a Kazakh tradition to dresses of the girls and the daughters-in-law which are a sign of respect. Our ancestors also dressed their wives in expensive clothes with rich ornaments and light colors. The girls' dresses were embroidered with flowers from the steppe and other plants. The handicraft person will draw the gentle and beautiful light, embroidered ornaments on the women's clothes.
угу. девушка будет всегда выглядеть красиво, ярко. И ей достаточно будет удобно вот в такой одежде, например. Потому что у нее вдоль рукава вот символы. Да, What should Kazakh women look like when they dress up in their national dress? I think the woman should wear a coat, and it should be light and comfortable with light color. There are also a lot of dark colors in the world. The environment around us, the streets, the roads are all in gray colors. If women wear the light-colored coat with ornaments, she'll be happy and in a good mood. There are national ornaments on the coat sleeves. It shows three together in unity. In the back of the coat, we can see the embroidered protection of the woman. The woman is a thoughtful person. She also prefers to build everything from the beginning. And it shows it on this label. The coat from velvet will be embroidered with patterns. Every woman can feel comfortable in this coat. Currently, it is very fashionable to have an embroidered coat. Women can dress in this coat anywhere, outside or at home, and they can show off their beauty and attractiveness. То есть в такой одежде она всегда будет и на работе, и в гостях, и дома выглядеть очень хорошо. Subsequently, art has their own traditions. Lizotte's works have different traditions. She works with ornaments which come from her dreams. She would like to give soul to each of her compositions. For a male coat, she draws animals and birds, and for females, she draws plants and flowers. Typically, they come to the person who is close to Kazakh traditions, and it connects art with her thoughts. Но одна из моих работ, да, это вот сумки. I also have a great interest in making a bag. For example, these bags were made in the national style, and the ornaments have a drawn shield. Our ancestors were warriors, and we are this generation. We are the generation of nomads. We are the next generation of nomadic people. That's why the shield is our weapon. We have female warriors as well. Nowadays, they are not able to carry such weapons as a shield. But I decided to draw on the label on the bag to show the unity of our nation. Tradition is the wealth of the nation. The Kazakh people have their own traditions and customs with handicrafts. The wood and smith work will be made by our craftsmen as well, and this art has come down to us from the Great Steppe. Когда я ношу эту сумку, да, мне все говорят, а вы откуда? Вы откуда? Я всегда говорю, я из Казахстана. Вот она. When I hold this bag, I will be asked the question such as, where are you from? I will answer them that I am from Kazakhstan. This is a felt house, and this is my protection as an amulet. In the middle of the bag is drawn a shunarak for food, and the felt house has a meaning for me and my ancestors. All around are my relatives. I would like to explain to other people in this way. Art is a mirror of its nation. The people have great artists, and they also have high reputations. Typically, we've started to see our heritage which has been lost since we received our independence. The tradition which we had yesterday will now be renewed again. The craftsmen make necklaces from gold and earrings from silver. Also, wood and smith art is developed as well. Embroidery is also made with ornaments and different patterns. Все больше и больше вот развивать эту культуру. Потом я думаю, что наша страна она и также взяла политику на этнотуризм, да? То есть у нас работы. Currently, the handicraft people should work hard. Our country should develop with ethnotourism. That's why we have a lot of work to do. Currently, a lot of felt houses have been done, and small cities were organized. There are a lot of great projects. Subsequently, it is magnificent to organize such a village in Kakjai Lao, where tourists can admire our traditions and art. Now artistic people can teach their children the art forms of the past and teach them to other people as well. I think if we will continue in this way, there is a great bright future waiting for our country.